Well, hey guys. So this is episode two of the random grab that I do. I mean, I got some really great response from you guys about the first episode. So let's just keep doing this for now. And the first thing that I need to sort out, some snow problems. I mean, it's not even funny anymore. I was away for only two days. I went to the city, wanted to relax a bit, and I came back to this. In the last episode I said that I want to give a tight lip on the snow situation this year to make sure that I don't lose control because I only want to use the ATV for snow plowing. I don't really want to use the tractor. But right now it seems like uh, maybe the Yamaha is not up for this task. I mean, check this out. What? There's like 35 to 40 centimeters of snow on this roof area. This is not great. And it's not gonna get any better, guys. I've been watching the famous Estonian weatherman. If you're interested, who's the guy I'm talking about? Very simple. Just Google. Just Google search. Estonian weatherman. The first image that pops up is the guy. You will not be disappointed. I believe I can show the image here because due to some copyright crap. Oh, and most likely the Estonian news mafia will hunt me down and... I mean, those guys don't really choke around. They will just deport you straight to the moon. Holy crap. Oh boy. Wow, this Christmas tree. And it just keeps coming and coming. By the way, the Estonian weatherman guy told us that we are actually expecting a massive snowstorm. The snow can reach as deep as one meter. So I'm 1.86. So one meter would be somewhere here. Now you could imagine that would be a problem. My only concern is this uh, little puny sunroof here. This one. I mean, this thing is not really beefy. This end is secure, 100%. The thing is just anchored to the log wall. But this side, hmm, I can honestly even see the bend on these two supports. This one seems straight though. Wow. So, just in case, I'm gonna remove the snow from this sunroof area. Another option would be to reinforce the thing, but yeah, I don't have any lumber right now, so not an option. First things first, though, let's uh, try to get some bad ways in here because this is kind of getting out of hand.
yeah, looks pretty good. I would say. I am quite impressed what that little Yamaha can do. I mean, for the size of it, the thing has actually quite ridiculous horsepower. I believe it was about 36 kilowatts. So it actually has more rated horsepower than the Bobcat does. This on paper is 31 kilowatts. So that's pretty interesting. Although the dork on the Bobcat is definitely more than this thing being a diesel and all. Anyway, I think I got the snow situation kind of under control for now. Guess we'll see if that Estonian weatherman on his underwear was telling the truth about the one meter snow situation or he was doing some kind of a joke. I mean, there is something off with that guy. I don't know, it's something uh, in his looks that I don't quite trust. I'm thinking his haircut has a little bit of spy in it. But anyway, let's uh, deal with this situation now. I really don't want this thing to collapse. This is like my go-to tool for everything. Need to rake something? My man. Need to hammer in some nails? My man. Need to break it in half and then duct tape the thing together? My man. I don't know guys, I think uh, there's some snow up here, maybe. Okay, this is definitely the not go-to tool for this job. Crap. At least this uh, bit here is sorted out for now. I wasn't really worried about the light snow that was on here just a few seconds ago. Light snow is not the problem. The issue is, the problem is when it starts to melt and the snow gets all wet and stuff. Then that thing is a lot more heavier. Check out this apple tree by the way. I just noticed there are still apples on it. Wow, that tree is definitely Estonian. What a badass. I mean, some trees don't just, uh, don't just want to let their junk go, you know? It still looks like sort of fresh. The safe thing probably would to also remove the snow from here. I am quite confident that this thing is beefcake enough. I mean the posts are 6x6s, both corners though are 6x8s and the beams on top are 4x8s and that's pretty much everywhere. Yeah this thing is definitely beefcake enough. Anyway guys I'm gonna continue this video on whenever I find something useful to do. So, 
See you then. So I guess the underpants gnome was telling the truth after all, although instead of one meter we got about 20 centimeters overnight. Check this blanket out. Right now it seems about 30 centimeters. Honestly I don't really recall that we've had so much snow in the past 10 years or so. I mean last year was quite bad. But this is definitely worse. Check out this little donut here. Actually the underpants gnome said that it's gonna snow most likely this entire week. Might have to break out my Soviet tractor. So the storm kinda hit yesterday but I wasn't here at the time, I was at work. We had some major snow problems there as well. So we got here yesterday about the same time when the snowstorm was kinda ending. But I couldn't even reach. Uh, well here I kind of got stuck on the main road and I have to say this car is utterly useless in snow so I pretty much bottomed out the snow was about where the trailer hook is and the thing would not move anywhere but what really grinded my gears was that the all-wheel drive thing just uh, does not work at all. I mean only the front wheels were spinning, the rear wheels never span even once. Eventually though I managed to kind of dig my way out and back up to the road that was plowed and I just kind of went full speed through the snow. Couldn't see anything where I was going because snow was just plowing into the windscreen but somehow I managed to get through and here. To be honest, I really miss my Quattro. That thing was an absolute beast in snow. I never managed to get stuck with that thing. Plus, after spinning the wheels for maybe like 15 seconds, my dashboard went full Christmas mode, all-wheel drive, fluid, overheating, shut down the engine, stop revving, whatever. Piece of crap car. So basically, I'm gonna wait about a week. I can keep the pathways nicely cleared around the building with the ATV, but I might need to start off the Soviet beast to plow the main driveways. So now I need to get this thing fired up. And considering the fact that Russian oil tends to turn into concrete in sub-zero conditions, then that will probably not be the easiest task. But currently it's only minus 12, so maybe we'll manage. I mean, this tractor does have a bunch of options to help it kind of start in the winter time. So the heads, this tractor has four separate heads, by the way. They do have an option, so you could install a heating plug for the heads 
right next to the injectors somewhere down there the oil sump as a board where you could install some kind of heating element for the engine oil and also the air intake has a heating element in it as well and the fourth thing is the decompression valve which is this lever which will make it easier to turn over but the thing is that none of those work i don't have anything installed for the heads and also the oil sump i do have a heating oil for the air intake but this thing just drips a 40 amp breakers so something is obviously shorted out from somewhere the only thing that kind of works is the decompression valve kind of i would say about maybe 40 percent but anyway let's see if we can start this thing without any assistance i mean the thing does have a four gigawatt starter motor so maybe that will do something
Okay, well, got that sorted out. You know, plowing with that tractor is quite enjoyable. Feels like you can pretty much go through anything. At least that has a working all-wheel drive. For the tractor, I think uh, I have a manual lock for the rear end and the front end will automatically lock after one of the wheels have span for about, I think it was about two seconds or so. But anyway, I'm kind of sick of snow right now. I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of it as well. So let's go do something else. Oh, by the way, there's this one more great thing that I discovered about my tractor. So the thing can't be stolen. Apparently it leaves a oil trail wherever it goes. So it's very easy to actually track the tractor down if uh, somebody tries to steal it. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. Gonna try to mend this situation a bit. So the story with this thing is that it's kinda old. I think these things have a lifespan of about five years. But the thing has been here for eight years now. And it's kind of leaking. I mean, it's just a little bit, not that much. Maybe. In my defense though, those logs were already black when I reinstalled them after rebuilding this sauna. I mean, even the door is black. So originally this thing was a smoke sauna. But anyway, this uh, fireplace. Maybe we can kind of extend this life a bit. Come on, dude. Stop being a dude. What a dude. Who's you now? I remember that about two years ago I opened this thing up. There was a problem with the flame diverter. The problem was pretty obvious. The thing was just uh, non-existent. I mean, this is the original flame diverter right here. Pretty much just burned away. So what I did, I took a piece of cheat channel and uh, used that thing as a flame diverter. So this, so this piece right here, I mean this looks like it has been working. Because that thing keeps most of the heat away from this plate. And by the looks of it, this has just turned into sheet metal by now. I mean you can almost bend this with your fingers. So I'm guessing it's um, currently leaking between these cracks here. 
I don't see any holes, so that's a good sign. And other than that... Everything seems pretty solid, to be honest. Considering most of the heat is up here, then the further down I go, the better it should be. I wonder if I can get my flame diverter out of here for a moment. Just uh, to inspect it. Now you can see a bit better. There shouldn't be a hole here. There should be a metal blade that leads to this hole. The thing has just burned away. There's nothing left. Mm. Wow. So this is what two years of flame will do to mild steel. Tell you what, let's add a plate here. Then I can seal this entire area up and there shouldn't be any smoke leaking going on. Pretty sure I don't need this access panel anymore. Exactly what I need. What a piece of crap, clamp! In my defense, I had to use the minimum button because the maximum button would just trip the breaker after like five seconds. 
Yeah, I kind of forgot. This building only has a thin amp breaker. Okay, that should do the trick. Mm, this thing is kind of messed up, missing some parts there. Wish I had some replacement parts for this. Oh. Wish I had two of them. Huh. How about that? Can't possibly ask and not return anything. Right. Huh. A wild mirror has a beard. I wonder where this thing came from. Because I have no idea. Maybe it was because I did that offering. Oh boy. So maybe I have to do an offering for this one as well. Hmm. 
you right i will give you what i will find yeah, that's fine but in all seriousness seriousness -ness, i have no idea where this thing came from it kind of appeared here over a week but to be honest who cares as long as the thing is here don't care where it came from i usually consider free stuff a win anyway i'm pretty much done here going aboard now so it's been about three weeks now and overall the thing has lost about about 70 percent of its air I checked the entire tire. It's not leaking from the top, nor it's not leaking from the caveman fix. But the thing is leaking between the bead. Seems like this particular spot. This side looks okay. Pretty sure I can't fix that. I think in order to fix this, you either need to reseat the dyer or just get a new rim overall. So leaking from up here as well. Hmm. Well, I guess you get what you pay for. Obviously, I need to change out the set. Gonna be weird to explain that part. Whatever, I will make something up. Some uh, trunk broke into my shop and uh, applied JB Weld everywhere. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. But anyway, I'm gonna throw this thing back under the machine for now until I can get some pennies to get a new set. Gonna take forever, but in the meantime, let's go do something else. I'm getting bored now.